Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about factoring trinomials. We're going to factor each completely. So if I was given this trinomial, x squared minus 4x plus 24. Okay? So since our a value is 1, okay, what I'm going to ask myself here is what two numbers multiply to be 24 and add to be a negative 4. Okay? Well, at first, when I'm thinking about this, I'm trying some things out. I'm having a difficult time finding a, uh, two numbers there. So what I'm going to do is just break down. So a lot of times when I'm, I have a hard time finding two numbers, let's go break it down. Let's put it right here. Uh, 24. I'm going to take what's being multiplied and say, okay, let's make a list of all the numbers together that multiply to 24. Well, one or two numbers, 1 and 24, uh, 2 and 12, go in there, right? 3 and 8, 4 and 6. Right? And then after that, it's just going to flip back, right? 6 and 4, 8 and 3, 12 and 2, and 24 and 1, if I kind of follow that. But here are all the pairs, all the pairs of numbers that multiply to be a uh, positive uh, 24, right? And then they could both could be negative, right? It could be negative 4, negative 6, negative 3, negative 8, negative 2, negative 12. Um, and if we, we could write all those, it really doesn't matter. But I'm sure let's do that. Negative 1, negative 24, technically, negative 2, uh, negative 12, negative 3, negative 8, and negative 4, negative 6. Okay. So now I want to go through and say, okay, what two of these numbers um, can add to be a negative 4? Well, it can't be any of the positive ones, right? The positive ones, right? You can't actually positive numbers get a negative number. So negative 1 plus negative 24, no, it's negative 25. Can't do that. Negative 2 minus uh, plus a negative 12 is a negative 14, I don't think so. Uh, negative 3 plus a negative 8 is a negative 11. Nope, a negative uh, 4 plus a negative 6 is a negative 10. So none of these, none of all the numbers that can multiply, could possibly multiply to be a positive 24, added to be a negative 4. And so with that being said, this problem is not factorable. Not factorable. That's our answer. There's no way we can actually factor this. We've exhausted all the possibilities. So let's recap. We're given x squared minus 4x plus 24. And we had to factor that. So uh, my whole goal here was that, okay, well, two numbers multiply to be 24, but add to be a negative 4. I was having a hard time with that, so I listed all the numbers that multiply to be a positive 24. 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. Then the negatives. Negative 1, negative 24. Negative 2, negative 12. Negative 3, negative 8. Negative 4, negative 6. Then I went through and said, okay, do any of these two add up to be negative 4? Well, all the positive ones, no. The negative ones ended up not adding to negative 4. So out of all the possibility of two numbers that multiply to be uh, 24, none of them added to be a negative 4. And so we can then conclude that this problem is not factorable.